fun and retro. Hey, man. This is gonna be good stuff. It was made at Yale. <laughs> is there ever, like, non-foolish mortals? It's half of a- it's 60% of a face. I don't under- <laughs> Oh, watch out! Jazz, the blast wave from Terminator! <laughs> Making everyone explode into Terminators! Paging Sarah Connor. They took his shirt. Yep. The city really doesn't seem all that different, but... It's that mask thing from Mario 2. I don't know, man, all the windows are red. By the way, the, uh... You know the top of the windows when you play these things? Where it's like the window will say, like, video games or whatever? This one actually changes. But it <laughs> says stuff like Magic Mask or World 1 or whatever. It's really lame. Hero pulled out his Magic Mask. Why is uh, Dracula also Jason? Well, this is Super <laughs> Dracula 13. I think you play as Jason and hunt Dracula. Oh. Shirtless Jason. In case you're wondering why uh, this looks so messed up, it's because this actually plays at uh, something resembling 256 by 220 pixels. This is a tiny ass game. Well, it looks like an NES game. Yeah, well, it's not time to use that money. <laughs> okay. Yeah, anyway, uh, this is basically ho Mario the horror game. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't expecting the whole Mario angle. Well, you know, in, in Friday the 13th, number 35, Jason kills, like, two people by stomping on their heads. Uh, wasn't John Leguizamo in that? Yeah. I'm a Sith Lord, by the way. As you can see. Can I oh, just is a comment on how serious your jumping animation is? Like, the shockwaves seem a bit much. <laughs> Never mind. Well... <laughs> oh yeah, you can use- this is the lightning power-up, you can use it three times in the air and then you fall down. It's actually- and it always forces you to rise up. You also get invincibility frames, but only while you're using the lightning. If you're not using it yet. Does it ever come into play? Like, do you have- is there any, like, platforming tricks? Where you have to oh, man. lightning blast. Man. You have a few platforming tricks, but like you don't need specifically one. Let me tell you right. something about Jason that you don't know. Behind his mask isn't a face. It's just a bunch of knives. As demonstrated <laughs> right here. Yeah, uh, this is the goal. This is basically the super mushroom of the game. You throw two uh, more knives, you sit and throw two knives instead of one in their finger. That's it. Now I know he's n known for using a machete, but he has knives too. Does uh, bling make you strong in this game? Uh, if you get enough bling, uh, you can buy power-ups later on in the shop. Jason oh, actually buys cool. stuff? What is, it with, what is it with you and shop well, games, uh, heavy say? Well, the gonna... shops in this actually work. They do? Oh, by the way. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> hey guys, have you seen my glove? You can't destroy this thing, so just do this and jump over it, or you get hurt. So, are we going to have a mystery race of this where no one remembers to use a shop there either? Oh. By the way, uh, whenever you pick up a power-up where you already have one, that gets transferred to your inventory and you get to use it later on in that screen. Whenever you die, you get kicked back there. Well, anyway, this game answered a question I always had. What happened to Thing after the Adams family broke up? And now we know. He just wanders around. Yeah, he got a uh, he got some mocap work for this game. Oh, Good man. to see he still gets work. Yeah, yeah. Even after taking all those steroids. Yeah. Hey man, when you're in the the handball sports, you know you gotta do something to keep up with competition. Like Jason, he's gotta pay for he's gotta pay for his camp membership. Hey, a Jian Shi. That's out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, uh, those things are probably the, mo like, the least dangerous enemies in the They're game. the least dangerous and the most out of place. How hilarious. So is it gonna be like a tourist trap of uh, horror games? Uh, well, right now, this lets you buy power ups. You got a uh, Jian Shi? Are you gonna have anything else? Oh, we'll have quite a few things. <laughs> You have not seen- they have not even introduced half the enemies yet. By the way, here's another power-up. Which we're not gonna oh, see well. right now. Hmm? I do like, uh, Mario's, uh, Piranha Plant redesign. 
I think they're more effective now. <laughs> oh, the horrible grasping arm things. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Useful Misty Shop. What's so useful about it? Misty is. Well, uh, she usually you... sells rare items, but, uh... Uh, like, yeah, right. This one, she sells the, she sells the superstar. I'll watch it. Jason's gone super power. <laughs> go, Jason, go. Sadly enough, this actually takes away your power up. It takes away the invincibility, takes away your power up? Well, like, it counts as its own power up, so when it runs out, you just go back to being normal, Jason, instead of super Jason. That power up's actually the reason why Jason's able to keep up with people because, while he's walking. He has star power up, so he can just go straight through objects. <laughs> Uh, in case you're wondering about the window, it always does that between levels. Also, look at him. Look how fast he walks. Maybe he's got those, I... like, skate shoes? Is this Jason and the million flavors of mushrooms? So far, every part you got has well... a mushroom. Oh, I guess broccoli There we go. Option. This is the other- this is one of the other platform power-ups. It's the wall- it's the- Oh, man. That's room. actually kind of cool. You, can, you create a wall, you push it around. If you create a wall on top of an enemy, it hurts them. You can jump on top of the wall. You can only have one wall. What if Mario was a mason? Now we know. Yeah, hey man. The Freemasons are behind everything. Uh, especially horror games that are also horrible. Yeah, the Freemasons made all those Friday the 13th sequels. They knew that people liked them, and they knew they could control them by you making more sequels. Why make a oh, million shit. times when we can just make one working man zombie? Seems like hammer dead. throwing wallaby? What the hell was that? Uh, that's like the Bowser statues, kinda. Okay. Really? Okay. I'm going to guess that's what it looked like. I'm not sure if it was. Oh yeah, money. But it sorta of looked like money. So when does this disappear in Mario Crossover? Always. Always and forever. This is Mario crossover. You just don't know it <laughs> yet. Surprise! <laughs> I have to admit, when I first played this game, I was not expecting that this was basically what happened to Splatterhouse. This guy after he starred in that terrible 3D game. Who's Splatterhouse? More importantly, <laughs> more importantly when did Dracula start taking, uh, becoming pen pals with Bowser? Uh. Uh, well, you know, Wreck-It Ralph came out recently, so... Yeah, they met on Wreck-It Ralph, like a lot of people did. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Speaking of God smiting people... Go on. Well, I'm not really God, I'm really kind of the devil. Uh... But I'm smiting this other devil. Oh, no, you're looking pretty Old Testament right now. Yeah, that's pretty much what God in the Old Testament boot? looks like. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, that was a bloody boot. Oh, man. This seems like it'd be a really good time to have that, uh, Mason power. Actually, yeah, it would be because of what's coming up. That asshole. Yeah, he looks a lot of fun. Can you, like, crush him from below, or do you have to smite him? Yeah, you can. It's just the problem is this... Says, you never yep, get this okay. kind of situation. <laughs> Later on, it just becomes kind of really uh, bullshit. Here's an introduction to an enemy you can't fight yet. Oh, okay, just kill him. Now we have the now we have basically just the float power, which just lets you float. Yeah, so Jason's favorite power. poofy pants. <laughs> I think they're called parachute pants. <laughs> Damn it! I thought they were MC Hammer pants. No, Hammer pants would let you throw hammers. No, those just make you drop. Shit. Yeah. Funny enough, uh, if anything goes over the top of the screen, uh, it doesn't hurt you. Also, fireballs. This yeah. is the boss killing weapon. Really? Because each of those fireballs you see out there actually counts as a hit. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. It hits really fast. Well, I would imagine. That was. It also pushes you backwards, so don't use it next to a cliff, or you'll regret it. Seems like hoping to defy Dracula is a bit of a pessimistic statement. You seem pretty loaded. Yeah, I was gonna say, Voorhees is pretty much the best choice for taking on Dracula. <laughs> it's not like he has anything better to do. Here's our, uh, plant power. Oh, wow. That is... We can... We can now eat people. That is actually kind of hilarious. Like that. 
plus uh, when you shoot it out and try and jump over it sort of curves around you. Wait, so you're like that guy in Prototype now? Sorta. Of. It actually eats everything you eat gets turned into a coin. Help! Help! Oh, here's that boot. Okay, now I know what the boot does. <laughs> Jason's only weakness, gravity. <laughs> Getting stuck in the corner of a block. Uh, but the boot is basically just armor. It also lets you bunny hop everywhere. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, if you just hold down the jump button, you just jump around. The bloodiest, uh... Oh, what's it called? I can't remember what fucking that shoe's called. Karibo? Karibo shoe? Yeah, Karibo shoe. That's right. Wow, look at that. He loves that boot. Uh, and he lost it. There's the, uh, <laughs> famed Dracula's airship here. Power to the Mason. Yeah, now we have these skeleton heads. The Masons will rise again. They actually can pierce the <laughs> Mason wall. But they don't move, so... Nope, never mind. <laughs> actually, the Mason wall here isn't actually that useful. The Mason's one weakness, a hammer. Well, yeah, that's how you break brick walls. Uh... Is the Freemason <laughs> Guild's natural enemy, the Hammer Guild. Natural enemy? <laughs> this seemed. that seemed poorly advised, actually. Shoot. Picking up the bounce thing? Hmm? Picking up the bouncing, uh, thing? Oh, okay, that's actually, a, that's actually a bit easier than that. Oh, oh. no! Called it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have some other. Well, this actually cuts to some other problems. Whoops! Oh, wow. <laughs> and begin death montage, oh, wow. apparently. Uh... Oh, that oh. was hopeless. Yeah, those drop really quickly. Also, here's another power-up! What was that? Ninja, Ninja Jason? The most dangerous of Jasons? Yeah, actually. <laughs> oh, it explodes! <laughs> Yeah, if it either hits something or gets to the end of the screen, it explodes. Jason actually has always known ninjutsu and shit. I mean, how do you think he just shows up in the shower where people were... Or like, they hide in the fridge and he's in the fridge? Yeah, by the way, we're not actually out of power ups yet. Oh, well. They can just give you... Oh, is that another new one? It's the fireball. One of my favorite moments in Friday the 13th... 65 was when this guy was banging a girl, and then when he got up, it turns out it was Jason all along. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good he is at getting places. Is that that uh, Ill, is that that ill advised Jason Naruto crossover that happened? Possibly. I'm just imagining like Jason's like getting to get. It's like one of those weird things they did a robot chicken. It's like horror movie monsters get on the dating service and he just ends up dating that girl from Ring. <laughs> well, yeah, they're actually, like, soulmates. They go off on a date and they're just murdering hapless kids. That's what I do on dates. <laughs> One of the girl drags them into the well and Jason's down there with the, with the knife. Oh, so the shoe actually combines with other power-ups? Yeah, it's basically... Suddenly actually, a lot there's more one it doesn't combine with. But all the other ones it does. Uh... We'll see it later, but basically the shoe just vanishes. Oh. This game is really dumb. It just kind of hit me all at once, what I'm watching. Uh. You mean the fact that we're baiting up an eye with the power of masonry? Got a brick in your eye. Uh... Yeah! <laughs> well, you know, if you just throw bricks at somebody, it works out. It hurts to get bricks stuck in your eye. Especially when you have a tiny pupil. I mean, I think I can't, probably can't see in the dark very well. <gasps> well, not with all those bricks in his eyes. Well, don't worry, <laughs> now he doesn't have to worry about seeing anything ever again. Uh, that's a shame. You blinded him, you monster. By the way, Dracula owns a factory. Well, yeah, he has to build stuff. Where all the uh, boots come from. Yeah, it's his boot factory. He doesn't make them in pairs, which is why he's losing a lot of money on it. Cellar boots just don't really sell that well, <laughs> unfortunately. 
I know, he's trying to trick people into buying two boots, but they're not falling for it. They, I don't even know why they're buying one boot. Well, you don't really need to if you can fit your whole body. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. Like that old lady lives in a shoe, I guess Dracula built that, too. Yep. Was it also covered in blood? Or was that just a uh, Grim Fairy Tales remake? No, that was just Grim Fairy Tales being creepy like always. Mm. I, I, I've actually, I have to admit, I'm not really up to snuff on the story of Dracula the Cobbler. Well, see... This one time, Dracula was out in the woods and he was hungry, so he made some peach cobbler. The end. Well, the, see, the thing is, is like uh, Dracula as a cobbler, like you know all those like boots and stuff that are just hanging around his castle. Like he has so much time in that coffin, like he might as well just <laughs> pick up something useful, like leather work. Sure. Yeah. Makes all those magic boots. Maybe he was responsible for all those uh, really long shoes. Really garish uh, toe links. Spends a lot of time painting blood on them. It's actually kind of sad you can't use this thing as like a jetpack. Yeah, I was going to say that. Freaking flying yeah, boot technology. <laughs> Unfortunately, so most of these powers seem more like meant to be showy than effective per se. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, be really cool. What if Mario just like exploded with fire and was also Jason? <laughs> it was also Jason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mario was Jason Voorhees all along. Luigi never saw it coming. <laughs> it seems like it seems like a really bad creepy puff to wait to happen. Friggin' all those years, Luigi thought he knew the guy, but now it was Jason. Oh man, you just don't have very many Friday the Thirteenth in Mushroom Kingdom. So here we get introduced to the new blocks which you can jump through but not fall through and can't really do. I remember. So really, the only powers you ever I remember in Jason the sequel when Jason uh, went to the Emperor and learned the ways of the Sith. Yeah, he said, "Here, eat this mushroom." Oh there is actually no Mario and Jason creepypasta. There's only a Mario, Mario versus Jason trailer, which was canceled apparently. Shame. Aww. That's yeah. because Hollywood wasn't gonna fund it. <laughs> well, actually, they were, but they actually just stole the idea from themselves. They're like, that's a great idea. Take it. So, I guess it's another uh, fallacious idea by Paramount. As you can see, the mushroom did a great job getting away from me. <laughs> oh, clever mushroom. Oh, well. Now it can never be gotten by anyone. <laughs> Now no one can have the mushroom, because fuck you people. That's great. That's fine with me, though. That mushroom wouldn't have been very good here. Yeah, it looks like that you're doing just fine with the Old Testament mushroom. <laughs> the whole Old Testament all in one mushroom? The so yeah, Old uh, Testament. if you try and end up using the lightning with the boot, it doesn't work. You lose what? The boot just goes into storage. Well, that's why... Uh oh. That's why... I think it has to do with the whole flying thing. Hmm. That's why Darth Vader doesn't wear boots. Oh wow, that was... Beautiful. He just wears, like, footy pajamas. <laughs> you just don't notice because they're all made of metal. Darth Vader wearing nothing but Kribo shoes. Darth Vader wearing Jason's mask. Well, that was the original script. He just unmasks himself, and there's Jason's hockey mask, and then he just stabs. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna guess that when you get to, I guess, the third world, you're going to deal with a castle, and Dracula's going to be there. And you're gonna hit right, an axe, actually. and he's gonna drop into lava. And, it's, and instead of lava, it's gonna be blood at this rate. I hear bloody deers. <laughs> I don't know what I hear. What a hear horrible something? night for a curse. Oh yeah, here's another enemy. What a horrible night for Friday the 13th. Yeah, that's exactly good. Turn that back down. I like his use of exactly one instrument. Yeah, I know. In the songs in this game. 
just change its tone and overlap it with itself. And we got beep, music. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, it's not very worth listening to. So I'm I, back did it just go out of tune? I'm pretty sure this game was actually on an Amiga. <laughs> it's going out of tune. <laughs> they had to get such good graphics, they had to make some sacrifices in the music. Yeah, it's a turbo, actually, it kind of looks like a Turbo 16 graphics game, vaguely. Or a really old Genesis game. No, this is the Ouya. There's no dinosaurs or cave. This can't be a turbo graphics game. I keep telling you, man. Ouya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, this looks like an Ouya launch title. Why do you think Jason's so pissed? Oh, yeah, we actually have to make games for this. <laughs> that was what everything when they named it that. Quick, we gotta get to yo-yo games and buy everything on it. Yeah, Jason's mom bought him into Ouya, so he wouldn't kill a bunch of kids. Because they had better game systems than him. <laughs> you know, the Ouya's failure is gonna be predicated on the fact that it has no consonants in its name. I just realized that. I never thought about that. Vowels and misery. That's the Ouya philosophy. Well, it has consonants. You is a consonant. No, it's not. Are you a tr Are you retarded? <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Oops, Why is it consonant? No, it's actually a variable, and it counted as a vowel as well. Oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> I, I, I came on here expecting to talk about Dracula, but what I really talked about was English. Well, to be fair, the English language is the one language that doesn't give a shit about its own rules. The language of the damned. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, by the way, you remember how this is kind of like Mario? Well, we're finally gonna meet the Koopas. This is kind of like Mario? What part? I don't know. I just, I feel like I should have just said that. Uh, what I meant to oh. say, actually, is that this is the part where we meet, where we, uh, meet the, uh, Koopas. Did you know Mario is mean, a uh, Jedi? I had an inkling. <laughs> Was that yeah, a bitch? I... Oh, wow. <laughs> Are those your Koopas? Well, I almost met- no, but that was the log that I almost managed to hit that guy with. These guys should really set up shop somewhere a little more accessible. It's not in the middle of the pool of acid? Yeah, and not down a random pipe. Um, no, that's a great place to do it. The exclusivity allows, uh, you control demand. That's how capitalism works, right? Yeah, that's Jason. why all uh, all real stores take place in underground pipes. Like the Walmart in the sky that you have to uh, fly to. The, flo the floaty Jason has pink hair, I just realized that. Wait, what? That was during his punk Jason years. has pink hair? Yeah, the white, the white one, the one that floats. Punk's undead! What I was gonna say is, capitalism is the main reason why all those buildings in the background have switched to red light bulbs. Yep, Blood yeah. lights. It was, it was more metal to use that than the usual, somewhat. Yeah, actually, there is something here, though, that you want to have the uh, MC Hammer Jason for. Did Jason learn the lethality of the butt stomp? Uh, no, there's actually a power up that you can't get to without it. So do we have a butt well, stomp? Well, the thing is that. Yeah, we do, actually. It's a really slow motion it one. It hasn't been useful. Oh, well, goodbye, uh, Black Mushroom. We didn't need you. Get out of here. Yeah, we can get a new power-up if we stick with this thing and don't get hit. Oh, okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Come on. Just gotta jump. Good. Instead of jumping badly. What is there to spoil? Jason's gonna murder some kids. And they probably but deserved it. he's gonna do it. it with the help. But he's gonna do it with the help. <laughs> we don't talk to the help. Of a cat! What do we get? Self-esteem? It'll be on the right. Oh. We have a cat. It's his pet rabbit! Or a rabbit. Whichever. I'm not quite sure what it is. But it shoots at things when it, when it gets the chance. It kind of reminds me of the Monty Python bunny from uh, the Holy Grail. It's also not a mushroom. What is the shit? Inconsistent. Shape? This is not my fanon. <laughs> this is not some sort of horrible mushroom with spikes. It doesn't work. Get rid of it. It's an abomination unto Christ. 
Yeah, Jesus could get over it. Speaking of which, where are all the crosses? Doesn't Dracula usually go across it? Oh, never mind. Give <laughs> <laughs> me a weapon, uh, a giant monster. <laughs> Oh, hey, okay. Jason, you want a thwomp? And this is actually the worst power of fighting the thing. Wow. Because you will never actually really have enough time. That rabbit kills the shells and doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty effective. Hey, Jason, you want a thwomp? <laughs> Hell, I've got play <laughs> of them. Oh, my. By the way, um... I hate useful Misty. Did you know that? You're by you should, one. she's not very likable. Oh, did you just die? Yeah, there's no floor in this shot. Uh, Missy, wow. I'm pretty sure we did regret it. <laughs> that was a little uh, rude. Look into my shop, now die. Ah, uh, there's the, uh, M&M flavored mushroom. Delicious. <laughs> the mushroom McFlurry. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if mm. McDonald's started making those. <laughs> If enough fat people go to McDonald's and say, You know, I wish I had mushrooms if I just flurry, and then die of a heart attack, they'll be like, oh, That's a great idea. They'll oh, bankrupt Mc McDonald's with the uh, coffee and chanders to just throw the bodies outside. Do they even have McDonald's in Canada, heavy side? Did you say janitors? McDonald's doesn't have janitors. Yeah, who are you kidding? Just have people who come in and eat the food off the floor. <laughs> exactly, that's what I was going to say. That's the only cleaning service they have. Uh, well, they do an okay job with that. They also don't have <laughs> a guy who cleans up the garbage. They just have some guy in the basement who eats it all. Otherwise, I was a repeat customer. Yep. I'm here three times and eat yeah. for free. Man, describing it like that, death by lightning sounds like a... Oh, this guy's actually seem a little bit more annoying than your average move. Yeah, they hunt you down and take quite a few hits. You can kill them just like the instant they come at you if you just smash them Wait. enough, but yeah. at the same time. Is this screen scroll locked? You can't go back to the left? Yeah, you can't. The whole game's like that. That's pretty stupid. I hate games like that. Oh, he's defeating your brick powers! <laughs> no, it's not. I, my brick powers are too much. He's but he's resistant to them. He might be a threat. You almost got bricked yourself. Man. He's a threat to the Freemasons. I love how you touch that guy with bricks and he just explodes into bones. Well, he's got a lot of bones. <laughs> yeah. They're all femurs, apparently. I think that's why he's so big. He, like, stuffs bones into his shirt. I'm not fat or big bones. I've just got too many bones. Oh, he's that guy from McDonald's. Yeah, he's that guy. No, he's the guy from KFC. He stuffs all the chicken bones in his shirt. <laughs> he ate the bones? I like how his arm is sort of like uh, on its on a swivel. It can just keep turning. Hey, yeah. your murder machine is back. But you can't get it. Yeah, we only have the one. Oh well. Goodbye, murder machine. You were so helpful, and so along with our ninja power. Before that bitch Misty killed us. What a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Useful Misty, more like bitchy Misty. I just realized that was World 2-4. And here's probably the worst boss in the game. A really, really, really bad boss. boss. Next stage, the Grim Reaper. Also uses mushrooms. Oh, hey, it is the Grim Reaper. Oh. Oh, wow, it's Castlevania. Yeah, the random, uh... Watch out, he's throwing yeah. purple drink at you. Imagine this shrunk so far down that you can barely see anything. And then just imagine a random uh, thing just coming out of nowhere and hitting you. Watch out, he's throwing purple Kool-Aid at you. No, you know, the purple Kool-Aid turned out to be toxic. And then watch as it speeds up. Oh, oh wow, that's a death animation. <laughs> Looks like you, had, you, you actually had more bones than you do body mass. Jason needs to work out more. Actually, that's how he dies. Every time he gets hit, he adds another bone to his body <laughs> until he just explodes from all the bones. As you can see, the flamethrower is kind of effective. Yeah, I see that. So what, it's like one flame hit uh, per hit or something? Yeah. Actually, the normal attack seems pretty useful too. <laughs> He's pretty machine gun. <laughs> he 
Yeah. Does he got that knife gun from Punisher? Oh. Nope. <laughs> it only shoots the one knife. If you get that the super mushroom, you shoot two at a time. Mm. So the one thing I expected to explode into a shower of bones just blows up with some <laughs> white circle. Just Peter Zell. Yeah. I think those fat guys stole all the bones. He's our final boss, by the way. Does he belong in this world? <laughs> Survey says possibly. Oh, he took like. his chair with him. <clears throat> Alright, guys, he's over there. It's kind of like uh, the Meyer Link from uh, Vampire Hunter D. And he also looks like Shido from Nightwalker, or whatever the hell that was called. He's like, no, guys, he's too many right there. Films. Right there, guys. Oh, <laughs> I, like how the, I like how the little cat thing is just shooting the instant he shows up, so it's like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Uh, this is actually one of the more interesting Dracula fights. To be honest. Yeah. He also it has actually a few is... abilities. This is, these are literally his two attacks, but he gets, uh, they get different in half health. Oh, man! <laughs> that, uh... But unfortunately, they're kind of based on your position. Yeah. So, uh... They're designed to miss you every time. Looks like. Well, the thing is, is that he's... He's picking some really bad spots, is the problem, and I can kind of hit him from anywhere I want. I can only imagine how frustrated he is. Like, oh, right there! Ugh. No, I was expecting to fight a Belmont! What's with this flying bullshit? It turns out, Dracula had not, in fact, read the Old Testament. I was caught unaware of the fact that smiting was Jason totally is a Christian. <laughs> the power of Christ it smites you. If this game wasn't called Dracula 13, or that guy didn't say Dracula before you fought him, I would not have known that was Dracula in any way. Uh, the teleporting and the uh, Castlevania 4-style lightning kind of helped vaguely. I guess so. Congratulation. Thank you for watching, everybody. Also, the kids are still fucking dead. <laughs>